childhood factories. The first was making Bibles, sweating and cursing and laughing and making thousands of big, thick Catholic Bibles. And if one had even the slightest defect, we had to throw it away. At the end of the day, heaven's dumpster was always full. An old-timer walked by, picked one up and said to no one in particular, I never seen nothing so pretty, before placing it gently back in the trash. Next we printed Brodigan's loading mercury with a pitchfork. A young female worker picked one up, read aloud, Fuck me like fried potatoes in the most beautifully hungry morning of my goddamn life. Announced to everyone, what trash, and tossed it aside. Then I made brake shoes, shoveled and breathed asbestos formaldehyde powder into three mud pie bins, pushed a button to crush them, waited, lifted them out and placed them onto a cart eight feet wide that I loaded five feet high, pulled to the hot press station and unloaded one by one. It was World War II, it was the Stone Age, and there were no women. Then bottle caps, millions and millions of bottle caps pouring into boxes to lift and switch, lift and switch at the end of the line, but there was a woman, a lovely black-haired woman, who told me on break that it must be nice to be a writer, though I really wasn't to rise above it all and not really be here. And she gave me her number, and she was married, and I was 19, and something finally happened.